Homeowners insurance rates have skyrocketed since 2018, up more than 43% in California. On your side, Christine Lazar has tips on how to find affordable coverage and what to do if your insurer drops you, and that has happened a lot. Yeah, it's happening more and more frequently, and you have insurers who are leaving the state altogether, and it seems like affordable coverage now is an oxymoron, but we do have some tips that will at least okay. save you some. What we pay a year for homeowners insurance here in California is actually well below the national average, but that's if you can find coverage. Some zip codes in Southern California are seeing mass cancellations, leaving them without many options. We spoke with one expert on how to find available and affordable coverage. Gaurav Barjuaj and his family live in this modest 1,600 square foot home in West Hills. It's not near a brush filled hillside or a dangerous slope, but their homeowner's insurance just increased more than 200%. Even if I stop around, I may be able to save like four, five, ten bucks a month, uh, but like it's going to be a hassle, so I think I have to live with that. Living with the new normal of sky-high insurance rates has many Californians struggling. It's just like one of the increase, you know. Everything is going up, you know, inflation, you know, grocery prices and everything. Um, I bought my home three years ago, got a good rate. Uh, that's the only thing which is stable. I see people paying anywhere from five, six thousand dollars, where it used to be fifteen hundred or two thousand, to people that were paying five or six thousand before. They could be in an entirely different category and paying thirty or forty thousand dollars for a policy, which is ridiculous. Carl Sussman is an independent insurance broker. He says the easiest way to cut down on your premium is to increase what you're willing to pay if you file a claim. And look for a very high deductible. Don't just say I'll go from five hundred. To a thousand, look to go from a thousand to five thousand, even ten thousand if you can. And even though that seems like a lot, keep in mind if there's a large disaster or there's a large claim that you have, your home burns to the ground, for example. $10,000 is probably not going to make or break you being able to rebuild your home. Homeowners should also take a closer look at their policy and make sure they're paying for what they actually need. For example, personal property, that's your stuff in the house, usually comes as a percentage automatically of what the home is insured for. If you look at that number and you say, I don't have that much personal property, then you can reach out to the carrier or your broker and say, I don't have that much, let's lower that down. Same thing goes for your move out coverage. Those with nearby family or close friends may be able to move in with them temporarily in case of any substantial damage to their home instead of paying for that coverage every year. But some Californians are finding it hard to find any coverage at all after being dropped by their longtime carriers due to high fire risk. Calabasas resident Eric Brooks was dropped by his insurer not once but twice and each time it was a headache to find new coverage. It was almost three months to from start to finish. Uh, we sent it out to various um, coverage insurance coverages and no one really came back with anything favorable for us. And as a matter of fact, the premium actually had tripled uh, from what it was a year ago. Brooks is now paying more for his insurance than he is for his property tax. The biggest feeling is, is that what, are every, what is everyone going to do? Sussman believes relief is on the way with the insurance commissioner's sustainable insurance strategy, which will enable homeowners to make improvements like a new roof or brush clearance in order to become more insurable and at a lower rate. With the new plan, you'll be able to do things to your home to save money that maybe your next door neighbor chooses not to do. So instead of it being by zip code or by county or territory, it will be much more granular. As for Brooks, he ended up finding coverage through Lloyd's of London, but his coverage is so expensive. You actually have a leak right now, but you're not going to file an insurance claim. I am not filing an insurance claim. For fear of how that claim could affect his coverage. I couldn't imagine any more than this. Um, it's, it's gotten to a point where it's like, when is enough enough? Some lawmakers are trying to find other ways to ease the rising cost of insurance. A new bill working its way through Sacramento, AB 1867, would allow homeowners to deduct the full amount of their insurance off their income tax. And again, a lot of people paying more for their homeowner's insurance than they yeah. are for their property tax. And you heard with that man not even using his insurance when he actually yeah. needs it for fear of getting dropped again, which is really an infuriating place yes. to be as a consumer. I will say we have a very consumer-friendly department of insurance. Mm -hmm. if 
we didn't have that, we would likely see even higher rates. Wow. Uh, and again, the Department of Insurance knows that this is not sustainable. So I do believe they are working on a solution. And I think their um, proposal there where you'll kind of be able mm -hmm. to outfit your home to be better, you know, at, mm -hmm. at keeping a fire away exactly. will be uh, beneficial for a lot of people. All right, Christine, thanks so mm -hmm. much.